Jesus Christ. People die. People die when command fucks up. How exactly is this Arthur's fault? This is on him. And on Wade. That bastard abandoning his team. Well, you're right about Wade. If he shows his face again, I'll bloody kill him myself. Oh, yes. Let's keep blaming each other instead of the Germans. Is that supposed to impress me? Relax. It does not matter. Freisinger is going to kill us all. Freisinger? The Nazi. The one who killed Novak. Old friend of yours, is he? We have... History. Oh, yeah? What kind Forget of Forget Freisinger. Arthur will get us out of this. What? Because he's your mate? He wasn't always. But I've seen him in action. You lose men. That's war. Sometimes the only way to honor a fallen soldier is to finish the mission. But try remembering that while their blood stains your boots. to lead. You have to learn what it's like to lose men. To have them die trusting you. And there's only one way to learn that lesson. First time I did was on D-Day. All right, lads, listen up. We've got until dawn to achieve our objective. And it seems like the crowds already know we're coming. Now we've got one chance to demolish the coastal artillery. But if we don't, the invasion tomorrow will fail. Now I trained you all for this. Let's not let the Navy show us up. So take the case, mates. Blast the artillery and fire your flares to let the Navy know the job's done. All right, this is it. You know the drill. Stand up! Hook in! Stand by! From all the flags waving on the streets, we'd never have known the Nazis were about to lose the war. But bullies are always loudest when they're scared. And when they're desperate, they get stupid. Commander Hermann Freisinger had killed Novak. Then he'd given us a free ride, right into the lion's den. By a German army since Allied troops stormed the shores of Europe. The Fuhrer asked the German people. I've read the field report twice. This Allied team is fascinating. They have been captured. But it was too close. I want you to find out everything you can about this unit. It will be my pleasure, sir. You will speak of this to no one else and report directly to me. Herr Hitler. What is that smell? Chlorine dioxide. They think it hides the smell of death. So, ein, ein! Ich sag der Bewegung dich! Well, this is the nicest shit hole I've ever been in. Is anyone else hungry? Palina, Sienz is all ready. Da, scusa, Bekka. Ja, wie schon. So, I am Hauptsturmführer Richter and. Piss off, crowd. Unless you got room service for us. And I have questions for you. How are we going to eat bloody questions? I'm the commanding officer. You'll speak with me. Even then, Richter was easy to read. Uniforms at high rank, no combat medals. Office rat. The perfect mark. Surrounded by three guards, all armed and all wankers.
In all my years studying the Allies, I have never come across such an unusual unit. Kingsley, Arthur, Lieutenant, service number 25232642. I'll tell you a story. I have spoken with the Fuhrer on exactly one occasion. He recommended a book to me, The Passing of the Great Race, by an American, a man named Madison Grant. The Fuhrer had nothing but praise for him. Fuck Madison Grant and everyone like him. The book reveals that under extreme duress or unfavorable conditions, your people do not deteriorate so easily. In that moment, I knew what I had to do. Right to the suprasternal notch below the clavicle. Once we had what we needed from this racist bastard, that's where I would put my knife. My plan began to take shape. We were being held in the basement of Gestapo headquarters. Around and above us was a treasure trove of classified Nazi intelligence. Project Phoenix had to be there somewhere, and Richter was our ticket. He thought he was the interrogator. If he was to be of any use to us, he'd have to keep thinking that. That arrogant Nazi in his clean-pressed uniform loved the sound of his own voice. The hard part wouldn't be fooling Richter into spilling what he knew of Project Phoenix. I would like to see for myself. The hard part would be convincing the others not to kill him first. The Allies somehow knew about Project Phoenix. You must have a traitor amongst the officers. No. I pulled their files. Take care of them with the other non-essentials. Lieutenant Kingsley mentioned a Project Phoenix. Likely Allied propaganda. The Negro thought he was protecting his team. No doubt to prove himself. To make him their leader. The Allies must have been desperate. <laughs> he said it was their first mission. That his sixth man is dead. It's probably lying. I will uncover the truth. But the other teams like this one, how did they learn of Hamburg? Is Tempelhof at risk of being compromised? These are the things I need to know. There's more at stake here than I'm at liberty to discuss. Just know that I'm counting on you, Herr Richter. I understand. Thank you. So. Wir haben euren Freund beim Team beschleunigt, ihr Taft! Well, I see ten fingers. That's a good sign, at least. Now make a fuss. I'm fine. Listen. They know about Wade. But they haven't caught him yet. You told him he was killed, didn't you? On the train to Hamburg. I don't think they'll fall for it. But the hope is it'll buy him some time to get us out. He isn't coming back for us. He's right, Kingsley. We can't count on that fucking drone guy. Bring out the girl. She ain't going nowhere, mate. 
I'll just get out of my way. Boss! Alina, I can't see you. I know if you can see it. Every person on this team was a hero in their own right, long before their files ever reached my desk. But to say they were strong personalities would be a vast understatement. Particularly when it came to Petrova. Napolia, have you seen my... Again? It's bad enough I have to wear this thing at all. No, it's flammable. All those years teaching me how to shoot. Wasted. I'm stuck in the med tent. But, 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 stop. Don't be in a rush to fight, Dodging. Glory is worth nothing when you're dead. But this fight, it matters. You matter. You and Misha are all I have left. Hey, be nice. I'm always nice. <laughs> Such a touching story. You couldn't even save the life of your own father. So tell me. Why isn't Ivan with an old rifle part of a top-secret Allied operation? You do not scare me, little mouse. <laughs> you misunderstand me, Fräulein. I do not need you to fear me. I need only your screams. That will convince your friends to talk. Why? <laughs> because I am a woman. <laughs> You're not very good at this, are you? <laughs> Tell me. What other missions the Allies have in Germany? Nothing worth talking about. So, what is worth talking about, Fräulein? Rising. Go fetch him. We'll confirm my story together. Mm -hmm. Take her back. Send me all the records on a Commander Steiner and any photographs of the Russian sniper. Lady Nightingale, yes, that one. And wait. Herr Freisinger, I was just coming to see you. We have confirmation from the woman. The sixth ally is dead. Is that so? An American arrested at Tempelhof, trying to steal a plane. This makes no sense. Prisoners made a fool of you, Richter. And now you have made a fool of me! The American is being brought here now. If I must interrogate him myself, then I have no use for you. You hurt? Are you blind? 
Just trying to be nice. What did you tell them? We traded torture tips. Relax. I told the same lies as you. Did he believe you? I stopped asking when I brought up Freisinger. When we get out of here, the first thing I'm going to do is head to the pictures. See Les Trois Mousquetins. Let Edith Mera break my heart all over again. And you, Lucas? What's the first thing you'll do when we're out of here? Hey. When I get home, I'm eating lamingtons for a week. All cakes, all the time. I know what you miss. Yeah. I'd like to have that sweet bird Barbara pour me pints of my local until I forget this infernal war ever happened. I don't even know if she's still alive. Everyone I love is dead. And the only time I feel anything is when I watch a German beg for his life. So, I am exactly where I need to be. Wade showed up just as I'd hoped. He played his part well without even knowing my plan. The team had written him off, but I was counting on him being his usual charming self. <laughs> Try that again, Crowd. And we're gonna have a real fucking problem. Your team lied about you, Lieutenant. Lieutenant? Uh, now, is that so hard? Finally, some respect. I know you are the sixth man. Uh, what did you want with that plane? <laughs> you Nazis. You make me miss fighting in the stinking Pacific. Uh, uh. I want to know what else they've lied about! Wade had talked himself out of worse situations. If you heard him talk about Midway, you could tell he was no stranger to hyperbole. Every time Wade told the story, it was a little different. He added a wing of Zeros or another aircraft carrier to his tally. But I read the reports about what happened that day. If Wade was exaggerated, it was only by a little. was his contradiction. He is one of the war's greatest pilots, but he needed a team. The problem was getting him to admit it. Hey guys. Don't everybody rush over at once. I'm fine. Isn't this a nice little reunion? You lied to me. For all we knew, he was dead. So you can fuck off. Really? Get your hands off me! Yeah. 
Feitiger, das ist Trittschrank. Das ist Trittschrank auf der highest order. Feitiger! You haven't heard the last of this! Get your hands off me! Feitiger! What is going on? Hitler is dead. What? How? Who is it, the Allies? Reports indicate he took his own life. But without the Führer, we are lost. Hardly. I trust you have new information. As you suspected, the American was the sixth man. But I believe I have finally broken them. It saddens me to see the fatherland defied by filthy Russians, no less. There's nothing left for us here. If the Reich is to live on, I must know there is safe passage to Tempelhof. I was counting on you, Richter. But you've proven non-essential. No, 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 sir, no. I will get you what you require. I swear. To. Your time is short. I understand. Mein Führer. I'm gonna kill him. Rector is on to us. We're out of time. I, uh... I tried to nab us a getaway plane, but that didn't work. By the time I got here, you, you guys were already locked up. So I, uh, I borrowed a bomb from the Ruskies and turned myself in. We got about, uh, about an hour before that wall blows wide open and we waltz right out of here. If we live that long? I can't trust him. He's just a fucking pilot. A fucking ace pilot is what you mean. I'm with the lady. What the hell do you know about explosives? Yeah? Well, fuck you too, then. I'll tell you why we can trust him. Here we go. Wade's more than capable of getting us out. Files in hand. thing in the skies but if you fly too close to the sun eventually your wings will get burnt
23rd changed Wade. They showed the flying daredevil from the clouds what war looked like in the dirt. Down there, he learned the only way to win was to have each other's backs. If you get past this talk and you see his actions, you will know who Wade Jackson really is. I don't care what he did before. Wade abandoned us in Hamburg. I still don't trust him. I get it. But we're not in this shithole because of him. We're in this shithole because some sodding Krauts think they can crack the best team I've ever worked with. Now, we need a plan to get us out of here. We're surrounded by Nazis. Even if we escape, we're gonna be dead before we reach the door. Maybe not. What an idea. We were gonna put on a show for Richter. It was a gamble, but we'd come too far to give up on getting those files. Polina being next gave us time to get ready. We knew she'd hold her own. Nice to see you again, Fallen. Please, please. This is exactly what I imagined your weird little office would look like. Oh. Tell me what your team is planning. Lady Nightingale. Stalingrad, the city that arrested the Nazis' eastern expansion. Had the city fallen, Russia would have crumbled. The Germans underestimated Russia's will to survive. They underestimated the city and her defenders. The people looked to Polina as a symbol of hope, but she didn't want to be a hero. She wanted only vengeance. The arrogance of the Third Reich was to think they could achieve what the great Napoleon could not. Perhaps if they weren't facing someone as fierce as Lady Nightingale. Famous Lady Nightingale brought Stalingrad back from the brink. Her actions inspired the Russians to take back their city and go on the offensive. Polina changed the course of the war for the Allies and her people. With that reputation, it was only a matter of time before we found her. What would Freisinger want with a lowly officer on the Eastern Front? What does it matter? It matters a great deal to me, Fraulein. Nice lighter. From what I could gather, Freisinger was recruiting Steiner for some special project. Project Phoenix. Could be. All I know is, I was sent to kill Freisinger.
There's got to be a better way out of here. There is no way out of here. Unless, of course, you have decided to do the intelligent thing. Open that door back up, and I'll show you the intelligent thing. You can get me out alive? What? I can. <laughs> you two-faced bastard. All right. I'll tell you what you want to know. <laughs> Typical Aussie. No honor, no loyalty. In your crusade, Tommy. I hope your plan was worth it. Break a leg, Lucas. I thought you'd be the one to put an end to your team's foolish agenda. You killing each other now, are ya? So look! So look! from a Negro is. <laughs> you got it all wrong, mate. No, don't follow. I don't care what color his skin is. Haven't you heard about the Aussies and the Brits? We were the pieces of shit flushed down the crown's dunny. Yes, yes, of course, but your nations are allies. Mate, it was more like master servant. I did what I did because to every Brit, folks like me are expendable. Insubordinate, churlish, no stranger to a prison cell. That's Lucas. You had to credit the SOE. They were very good at spotting talent in the unlikeliest of places. And Lucas had talent. He was a skilled demolitionist with an explosive temperament and a sharp tongue. Out there in the desert, the rats of Tobruk were like a family. Unfortunately, they never did figure out how to get along with the brass. in Libya, an Australian private and a group of rats had given Rommel a huge black eye. Their action should have earned them medals and maybe even a shred of respect. Hams didn't see it that way. Their reward was some time in the brig. However, all Richter seemed to care about was Rommel and his connection to Freisinger. That fool would listen to Lucas as long as we needed him to. Oh, oh. I caught tunnels. What was the rest? We have very little time. Tell me, what did Freisinger want with Rommel? I thought you wanted to know about our team. Answer me now, or our deal is off. Okay, okay. Don't get your undies in a twist. Lucas piled it on like a chap. He didn't have to tell Richter anything more than the lies that Nazi already told himself. That was the Third Reich for you. Their reality was delusion. 
You'd think we'd need a miracle for Lucas to pull this off. The thing is, he was like a magnet for that kind of luck. There's that saying about lightning striking twice, yet Lucas had managed to find himself first at Tobruk and then at El Alamein. The world knew of an Allied victory in North Africa. But it wasn't because of British commanders or mighty tanks. Lucas had the untold story. Sometimes, the only way to honor a fallen soldier is to finish the mission. But try remembering that while their blood stains your boots. That's what I told Lucas when we first met. War had taught us both that lesson. The rigid hierarchy of Allied command would look at Lucas and see only character flaws. Insubordinate, churlish, no stranger to a prison cell. He was perfect for my team. Even if he does have a mean right hook. Lucas played his role perfectly. He had Rick to distract it and doubting everything he thought he knew. Are you all right, mate? You, you're looking a little bit pastier than usual. Please. This was... This was... Never about winning the war. This was never about winning the war. This was a coup. This was a coup. Temple off. That's how he's getting them out. Taking the Reich underground. Wait a minute. You're not part of the plan, are you? Well, it looks like we're both going to end up on that meat pile back there. One thing I learned studying Allied strategy, redundancy. Always have a plan B. With the Soviets invading the city, Lady Nightingale will be my leverage. I will exchange her for my own safe passage. Well, that's one hell of a plan, Fritz. It probably would have worked. Fucking blade! No, no, no. Please. I will let you go. <laughs> you made one mistake, but it was a bloody ripper. <laughs> You thought you cracked us. Redundancy, mate. Always have a plan B. I've just received word. We have safe passage from Berlin. Three years we have waited for this moment. Many good men were lost. Rommel, Steiner, Itzel. But I promised you, Project Phoenix would succeed. Hitler has paid for his weakness. And now history will remember him as we do. A failure and a coward. The Red Army is nearly upon us. And Berlin is burning. But from the ashes shall rise our vision for something greater. To the Fourth Reich. Hey, boss! Your plan worked! Buddy, 
Remember me? Looks like you got a fan. What do we do with him? I can think of a few things. <laughs> Figured you'd want the honest boss. No! No! This is your chance. Project Phoenix, I can get you the evidence. Shh. You've already done your part. <laughs> right of the suprasternal notch. Below the clavicle. <laughs> That's for Richard. in the first transport be home in time for supper. Or we can end this. Hunt down Freisinger, bury the Reich for good. We might not make it out of Berlin, but neither will the Nazis. Whatever we do, though, we do it together. Freisinger is not leaving Berlin. Suppose me Lemmingtons can wait. Wait? Hey, it's not every day you get a chance to kill a Fuhrer. You can't turn that shit down, right? <laughs> After you, Lady Nightingale. Just so you know, I still have a rolled up killing you all. How are we looking out there? Gonna be dicey. Just how I like it. We're back in business. That's it. Let's take a look. The Cape Verde Islands, the Bahamas, Argentina. Even Antarctica. Christ. These bastards have been plotting covert operations all over the world. Right under our noses. Are you like Get this again down. Hit the bloody jackpot. <laughs> Come on, dig in. How about this? Project Nova. I can beat it. Project Ether. Reviving the dead. <laughs> Does anyone want some Nazi gold? Looks like we're going to be busy. Keep going. Open them all. Here we are. I was about to try this autopilot and come back. <laughs> What's Project Aggregate? Secret B2 rocket facility. You think you could fly one of those? Ha! I could fly anything. Hang on back there! Fucking wait. <laughs> Our mission was complete. Would there be more? Forged in the fires, we were the tip of the spear. We were the vanguard.